Welcome back once again. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso on S3. What an inspiring morning we are having uh, today. And of course, we talk to our next guest who is daring. She's impact driven, unbreakable. Just a few of the words that describe her. She's Mrs. SA 2022 finalist Ntswaki Sibiya. And she wears the hats of wife, of mom, businesswoman, and she's forging her path in the industry of private security, a path that is traditionally dominated by men. And not only is uh, Mrs. Sibia pursuing personal and career growth for herself, but also for the advancement of women like herself. And it's fantastic to have her here once again. Africa bo raka bo para. Give it up, Bonzoaki! <laughs> Celebrate! <laughs> you late. Thank you, so Thank you so much. My goodness. I've got to say, I love your energy. <laughs> From behind the scenes to right here on the couch, absolutely incredible to have you here. Thank you. And you congratulations. It's a warm welcome. It's, it's only just a pleasure. Um, you, you are involved in so many things and that you execute and um, live up to on an exceptional level. Mm. Talk to me about your, your journey into entrepreneurship, especially in the security business, how, yeah. how you got into that. <laughs> So my roots are where I discovered that entrepreneurship was a career option for me. Mm. Um, my father, my late father, was an entrepreneur. Okay. And my mother, although she was a teacher, she also had her own businesses on the side as well. So entrepreneurship, leadership, and a strong work ethic were introduced to me very early <laughs> <laughs> and so, yes, with security in particular, I was then introduced to that industry in 2013 when I joined a security company as a receptionist. Wow. And yeah, within a year working at that security company, I was then promoted to operations manager. And so that is where the journey and the passion for the industry and the people working in the industry was ignited. Absolutely yeah. stunning. And I'm wondering to myself, you know, how is it that you then have time for everything that you're doing? I mean, you're running a full-fledged business and here you are, you're your wife as well, your you're mom, you're involved in business and now you've uh, launched yourself into the Mrs. SA 100%. platform as well, which obviously gives you the ability to have a huge impact all across the country. And I wonder what are some of your aspirations and your reasons for wanting to be part of this platform? I'm in pursuit of personal mastery as I grow into my purpose. Mm. And I'm also a firm believer of personal development of oneself in order for you to show up better for yourself, for your talents, mm -hmm. and people that are in your space. You know, whether it be in work environment, your yeah. family, etc. And so for me, this journey on Mrs. South Africa has been centered a, lo a lot around that personal development and acquiring those life skills and that transformation that allows me to fulfill my highest expression mm -hmm. as a married woman. And so that's, that's why I've pursued this journey. You know, it's a lot about self-development. It's a lot about personal mastery. And wow. it's a lot about showing up for myself so that I can show up better for my talents. Mm. I hope the judges are listening, aren't they? <laughs> uh, you're, you're doing incredible work as well through the Le Tutando Foundation as well, <clears throat> where you're helping to uplift and upskill women as well, which is absolutely incredible. And I wonder what your message of, of hope would be to those women in your mentorship program and uh, to the broader South Africa as well. We're all about spreading hope during the month of Hope-tober. Oh, lovely. Um, for, for me, it's putting yourself out there. Be brave enough and bold enough to put yourself out there yeah. on platforms such as Mrs. South Africa. You know, there are certain skills and life lessons that one learns and principles mm. that you learn that could catapult you to the next level. And so those are the messages that I sort of um, communicate to people on my, on my platform, in my foundation. I mean, our foundation focuses a lot on entrepreneurial development programs and leadership programs whereby we assist women build that confidence mm -hmm. and capability to be confident enough to um, participate on your corporate and government supply chains. Okay. So and step into and that space. Step into that space confidently. Yeah. And so that's what we all we position them for that. And so I mean mm -hmm. my message to them is, you know, you, you've got to be bold and brave enough to put yourself out there and to be confident enough to 
work full capacity, yeah. you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely love it. And I'm wishing you all of the best. Thank you. With the competition. Thank it's you going so to be much. a fierce one indeed. It is. And I'm sure that you're going to show up for yourself in the most amazing way. But do stick around because we're going to have some fun with you. You know that, Yay! right? We have some fun and games <laughs> coming up with Mrs. South Africa finalist in Twaiki CB. Hopetober is a month of hope, brought to you by Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave, inspiring communities one pharmacy at a time.